more recently, you have a business. What's it called? Um, well, what we've done very recently is we uh, bought what was the Beckman Kelly Smith building and turned it into the Merge building. So anybody that's in downtown Hammond um, has seen quite a bit of change, you know, in that particular building. Um, we've changed the whole facade of the building, the interior. You were had the opportunity to stop by yesterday. Um, had you been in the building when it was Beckman Kelly Smith ever? I think when I was like eight years old, my dad took me over there one time, or I don't know, somebody might might have been one of the old lawyers in there or something. But I've been in it a long time ago, and it was more of an office slash. It wasn't anything like you showed me. I know that, but it was a like years and years ago. I don't think it was Beckman Kelly and Smith. It was somebody before that. Actually, before Beckman Kelly Smith, I think Rosalie was using it for um, like their warehouse and stuff. Maybe like that. that's what it was. Yeah. I had been in it a long time ago. It doesn't even look anything like it. But your business is AccuCraft, and you have a number of other businesses that have come together. And tell first of all, before we talk about the building, you've come together with some people to buy a building and turn it into kind of a business center for all of you guys. Now tell about the other, who's the other partners? Uh, the other partners in the Merge building are Tim Simic from Greenlight Creative, which is an advertising agency. Um, they've been in Hammond for, I think, 16 years now. Um, and then the other business is DS303, which is uh, Seta Taran Yaney and Gina Altieri. Um, and they've had DS303, I think, about 14 years. And we've all known each other for that entire time. Prior to that, um, Tim, Seta, and Gina worked at Herod Advertising in Highland, and I was one of their vendors. So that's how the four of us met going back 16, 17 years ago. Um, and we so Seta, Seta and Gina used to be a 5300 home. In. So, yes. yeah, they used to be in the, where the Chamber of Commerce is and where I had my coffee shop there for a while. Right. And then uh, Simic used to be over by the in the Edison district here, I forget what is that Harrison. He was on Harrison, uh, like I forget the the like six six nine Harrison. Or yeah, something like yeah, that. yeah, sixty sixty five, probably sixty seven hundred, maybe mm -hmm. something like that in Harrison. Uh, maybe actually a little south of there, but over by the old pool there. And you guys all kind of took your other locations and come together and, and buy this building. Yes. Uh, Again, we'd all been in Hammond businesses, all independent businesses, very successful, um, but have always remained good friends. And AccuCraft, I started 26 years ago now, and we started out as a pre-press shop for the printing industry. We've evolved into a number of things. We do large format graphics. Um, we specialized in digital printing um, for the past 10 years or so. And most recently, I uh, acquired the assets of Garmin Printing in East Chicago. And temporarily, I moved my AccuCraft operation to East Chicago. But it was pretty obvious quite quickly that that space was not going to be large enough um, for what I wanted to do. And uh, on a regular basis, talking with uh, Tim, Gina, and Seta, um, we just said, why don't we kind of pull some resources, see if we could find a building, and create this whole creative ecosystem um, where all of the businesses are still very independent, have their own clients, do their own thing. but if needed, clients can use all of our resources, kind of provide more services under one roof. Um, and not only that, but some of just the costs associated with a business, it's kind of neat. We have a centralized business hub, so all of the businesses share the same copiers and you know office equipment. Um, we have one internet bill for the entire building. Um, so it's really helped consolidate our costs that we've all had independently for the past 15, 20 years. We're talking to Leanne Dabrowski about the Merge building. Uh, it's across the street from Harrison Park, not too far from the Montessori over there. It's uh, 50, what is that, 58 something? 5920. 5920 uh, Holman Avenue, and it's the old Beckman, Kelly, and Smith. It's a, in the front, there's a bunch of offices, but uh, I'll describe that in a minute. And then in the back is a, kind of a warehouse area that doesn't look, look like a normal warehouse because these guys are so darn creative. And uh, Leon has some major printing equipment and so forth. But I went over yesterday and took the tour, and we'll talk about that. So you get all these people together, and they buy a building, and you walk in, and it's probably – my daughter said she came with me yesterday to film. We took some film of the building. She said, Dad, that's the most – comfortable place I've ever been in to work. And that has to be a pretty big compliment to you. 
That's kind of what we were shooting for. Um, it's an office building, but we kind of like to refer to it as an office building for the human spirit. Um, when you, as soon as you walk in the door, you see the artwork, you see the dramatic change. It's dramatic, but it, like you say, it's very calming, and uh, it inspires you. And another thing that we have, which I kind of wanted to talk about, was the Merge Arts Program. Um, every quarter, we do an art exhibit, and each one of those exhibits features 20 different artists, each showing two pieces. So there's 40 pieces of original art, which you got to see some of it being hung up yesterday. Um, so that's really cool for all of us that work at the Merge Building. So every three months, the entire decor of the building changes with just this amazing, inspiring artwork. Um, but it's not just for our benefit. Uh, the whole point of the Merge Arts Project is to obviously showcase some local artists, some artists from the region, and some not so local artists, but a lot of them are very local. All right, let's see. Who do you got Friday? It's Friday from 4 to 8. Everybody's welcome. You can go in there, not just to obviously see the art, but you're going to want to see the building where Seta and Gina and some and uh, some of Simic's people work. They've got a big open area that is as comfortable place to be creative and is in the entire it's high ceilings. All the utilities are there. Uh, painted black and so that kind of thing and uh, you'll be able to see what a real workspace should look like but you'll also be able to see some of these artists now off the top of your head who's in who's who's uh, what kind of artists you gonna have on Friday um, our roster is uh, uh, Michelle Cox who's a photographer out of Lansing uh, Ronaldo Ferdinand he's a local artist I believe he's out of Lansing also um, Pat Hansen Mary Hoskins who does a lot of really cool stuff with glass I think you saw a couple of her pieces um, Traz Juarez uh, out of Kisa Studios um, does some amazing. Where's that? They're in Hammond now. They were in East Chicago. Now they're in Hammond. Is, what's it called? Kisa Studio, C I S A. And it's a group of um, Latin artists um, that do graffiti esque type of work, but really amazing. Is that stuff. on Hoffman? Uh, right now, their studios are almost directly across the street from the door from uh, uh, Taco Real. Yeah, I've been in there. I've seen their studios. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some. He's got a couple of things that he's done that one one in particular of like a bad, I mean most of the stuff is creative and uh, uh, isn't doesn't have anything to do with like women or sexual it's just creative stuff but he's got a couple backside paintings of women that mm -hmm. are just like that would look really nice on my wall I'm not sure my wife would appreciate it but it's just those guys are good yeah they're very yeah, good yeah. anyways uh, who else is there um, we also have a uh, uh, Chencho Leon, uh, he's a tattoo artist, but he's also a fine artist, um, does some really cool work. Um, Felix uh, Flex Maldonado, who's also out of Kisa Studios, he has a whole different type of style. Um, Judith Mayer, John Moran, Ish Muhammad, Mark Richardson. Amanda. Where's, where's Richardson out of? Mark Richardson is like two blocks away from the Merge building. And he did that one painting behind the bar in the Merge. In a... Yes, yes. You showed me a, a big one. I don't know. Maybe what's my wingspan? That was more than that. It's probably about eight feet wide and a, a good five feet tall. Yeah. A real nice abstract painting. You also have a lot of, of course, Seta's art. Seta has done some many stuff. But you have a lot of the n new pieces that are coming in. Now, are those for sale? Yes. Um, all of the pieces are for sale. And what we do a little differently than other art galleries is... 90% of every piece that sells goes directly to the artist. The other 10% goes to a local charity. And each one of our exhibits, we choose a different charity. The charity for this exhibit is the uh, St. Joseph's Carmelite House. So for every piece of art that sells, 10% of it goes directly to the Carmelite House. Then at the end of this exhibit, in a few months, all of that money that was that 10%, we added up. And then us at Merge, we match it, and that goes to the Carmelite home, too.